This problem asks us to find the distance d that a truck moves up a ramp before coming to rest. We'll solve this problem with the work energy equation, which says that work other plus the initial energies, kinetic plus gravitational potential energy, equals the sum of the final energies. Before we start, let's take a minute and discuss some of the terms here. The truck starts with an initial speed, v0, which means it has an initial kinetic energy. I'll call that k sub i. It starts a length L up the first ramp, which means it has an initial height, L sine of alpha, giving it some initial gravitational potential energy relative to the ground. As it descends this first ramp, the only other force on it is the normal force, and that does no work in this case. So work other equals zero on the downward side. Then it hits the bottom and starts to rise. It travels a distance D up the ramp, reaching a final height, yf, of d sine of beta, at which point it stops so that it has no kinetic energy in the final state. Along the way, the force of friction acts on it, doing work. So work other equals the work done by friction. It's rolling friction in this case. So in our work energy equation, between the initial point and the final point, work other equals the work done by friction. The initial kinetic energy is half m v naught squared. The initial gravitational potential energy is mg yi, which is L sine alpha. There's no final kinetic, and the final gravitational potential is mg yf, which is d sine beta. Now we could solve for the distance d that the truck travels up the ramp if we knew how much work friction did. So we need to go off to the side and find that. The work done by any constant force is the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times cosine of the angle between those two vectors. In this case, the force is friction, and the truck moves a distance d while friction acts on it. The angle between those two is 180 degrees. Friction opposes the motion. So the work done by friction is minus mu sub r times n, that's the force of friction, times the distance d. Our problem now is that we don't know the normal force acting on the truck as it goes up the incline. So we'll find that in the usual way. Draw a free body diagram and apply Newton's second law. There are three forces acting on the truck. Its weight is straight down. The normal force is perpendicular to the ramp. And friction opposes the motion, so it's directed down the ramp. If we rotate a coordinate system to align with the ramp, then we see that weight has these components, a y component and an x component. This is the angle beta for the ramp. So this is also beta, as is this, and this one inside the triangle, showing that the y component of the weight has a length of mg cosine of beta. Now if we apply Newton's second law in the y direction, summing the forces using the free body diagram, setting it equal to ma, which is zero in the y direction, we find that the normal force equals mg cosine of beta. We can substitute that into our expression above. Now that we have an expression for the work done by friction, we can substitute it into our work energy equation. Before I do that, notice that the mass is going to cancel from every term. So let me go ahead and do that, giving this expression. Now we can solve for the distance d, gathering first all the terms together with d in them and factoring the d out. Finally, doing another line of algebra to see that the distance d that the truck slides up the ramp is v naught squared over 2g plus L sine alpha divided by sine beta plus mu sub r cosine beta.